Silly Davies. The joke is going all around. People are referring to you as the queen of collaboration. Collaboration, what does that mean? Well, Liesl, I love being a queen. <laughs> collaboration, Liesl, is very simple. It means it is a working together. Now the emphasis is on the word together, it's not one together. Yeah. It means where one or more businesses get together, working together towards a common goal. Now the call center hub collaborations goal is very simple. We all work towards service improvement. Wow, so it means that we must stop complaining and we can just all work together to improve service. That's awesome. You know, in South Africa today, yeah. very much needed. I agree. Very much needed. Okay, so now I'm interested. Uh, my business, we want to collaborate. We want to work together. What do I have to do to keep the collaboration active? Well, Lisa, it's very, very simple. You know, as I explained, first of all, we work together and the emphasis is on the word together. But the emphasis is also on the word work. Because within the collaboration, if we're working towards a common goal, it means that we have to take certain actions. We, we need to embark on certain activities in order to create benefit for everybody that works together. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to do. The first thing is you need to install a badge that we will provide you on your website. Now, we've got two badges. The first badge is a call center hub collaboration badge. Now you put that badge on your website and we link it back to your dedicated page on the call center hub, creating more traffic for your website so that we can get you visible. Okay. You see, our customers are online. Now if we're not visible online, how are they going to find you? Yeah. Now we've just created a second badge as well, the Fortunate 500 badge. Now 500 companies are going to um, receive the added benefit whereby they're going to have a second backlink back to Call Centre Hub. Now the Fortunate 500 badge is going to go to your most popular article, not just the page. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the second point what you need to do, which is article writing. Now you need to understand, please, or article writing is not about lead generation or marketing or advertising because this is not what Call Center Hub is about. So it's not about selling your products or services. It is about educating and informing people on who you are and what you have to offer. The third area that you need to focus on is the blog. Now, you need to understand that the articles is factual. It is giving people guidance on how to improve services or how to use your products or how to use your infrastructures in your business. The blog brings the human side of your business. It's where you can get um, personal. Dirt, yeah, personal, start yeah. talking to people okay. in, in that way. Fourthly, you need to get involved in our service wall. Now our service wall is like a call center hub internal social media platform. The advantage for that, um, for you in using that is very simple. This is where you can now start talking to your clients, to your business partners, showing and showcasing people the relationships that you do have, but you can also through the service wall collaborate with the other partners within call center hub asking for assistance, asking for introductions, and so forth. The other area is we're very active on social media platforms, doing social media marketing. So we say that you need to connect with us on our various social media platforms so that we can share and like each other's um, tweets and post updates and so forth so that people can see who you are and what you do and that we can help you to expose your offerings because the more we expose your offerings the more we work towards our common goal. Oh. Lastly, we fondly refer to our FIFI event. We host a Face It and Fix It event once a month. 
Now, this is where we face service for what it is, and we as a group of collaborators decide to fix it. We use the event as a very small training session, but then it's mainly a networking session. You see, everything we do is online because our customers is online. But the Face It and Fix It event gives you the opportunity to meet people face to face, to start seeing that person behind that LinkedIn profile. Yeah, because otherwise it just becomes a, a faceless online business. Exactly. So I like that. Yeah, exactly. So those are the things, Liesl, that you need to do within the collaboration. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that brings me to the other question of what do you do as call center hub um, within this collaboration or partnership? Okay, now Call Center Hub focused on creating the platform for um, the collaboration. So I'm going to run through it very quickly. First of all, we had to create the website. Yeah. So that is the platform um, where we all collaborate is within the Call Center Hub website. Now within the website, we create a dedicated page for you that we manage and maintain for you. But we must make sure to make this collaboration visible and give you the maximum benefit that this is visible. So we manage, maintain and what we call search engine optimize it to draw as much traffic to it and as much visitors as what we currently can. And I think we're standing now on approximately just over 18,000 visitors per day, which gives you a very large audience every single day that you can talk to. That's very impressive. So you can see from this that this is not a business directory, yes. it is that much more. It's a platform where you can start marketing and telling and educating and informing people. So we focus a lot on the website. We then also focus on articles. Yeah. We, have, we do our own research on, on topics like how to guide um, customer services, business processes, to name but a few. And we make sure that we get that on the website to assist that 18,000 plus visitors that they can find huge value and keep on coming back to us. Then we also focus on social media marketing. You know, I fondly say that this is the success formula, just these three steps of um, Call Center Hub, getting us after 18 months to be on the same level as companies websites like IT Web, because this is our success formula. So we spend a lot of time on social media marketing. In fact, what happens, every time that you market your services, either through articles or blogs on Call Center Hub, we use that as content on our social media marketing platforms to drive traffic towards your dedicated page or towards your articles that you wrote. Other areas that we focus on is we have what we call the service magazine and what has happened is we looked at the popular articles um, that people read on the website and we now extract those articles and we compile a service magazine to give almost like a summary on a monthly basis to the industry. Now the service magazine is becoming very popular. You know, currently, the service magazine's website is performing so well, it's starting to become a competition to the call center hub okay. website. Um, other areas that we focus on is we provide what we call a daily newspaper. We call it the service uh, bites. What we do is every time that we, you tweet, we pull that article in there. So if there's anything that you do on your website that might not be on the Call Center Hub website, we can still help you to expose that. Then we focus on a monthly newsletter. Now this newsletter is a collaborative newsletter. So we will ask you every month before we do the newsletter to provide us with any additional information that you would like to have exposed. So we take the articles that our partners and collaborators post on Call Center Hub, we put them in here and we will make it very clear that it's an article that you posted. We also focus a lot on the service wall and maintaining the service wall um, 
for you and making sure that we drive traffic towards the service wall so that we can keep it interesting and relevant for, for your audience. Like I said with what we do for you, we also focus on events. Everything is online, but at some point it is very nice to have a look at getting face to face and real with people. That is um, very important. So lastly, we manage your page on Call Centre Hub for you. So we will look at your page and say, Liesl, your page is not doing very well. Maybe let's change the wording, maybe let's add graphics and those kind of things. So that is where we focus a lot on to make sure that when people do visit your page, that they get relevant information and that we can drive more and more traffic for you. And then lastly, we keep our eyes and ears open, but so does everybody else within the collaboration where there's possible projects that we can embark on to assist companies to improve their services. Okay. So we all work together. So if we, for instance, find that there is a need in social media or and, and we know of a legal company that can assist as part of the collaboration, we will approach and start the project and, and assist companies that way. Does that make sense? Yes, it is extremely exciting. This is a new way of doing business. And I've also heard the word around town is that you've launched a new project called the Fortunate 500. What is that all about? It sounds very exciting. Well, the Fortunate 500 is very exciting and everybody in the team is very excited being on the project because as you can see, Liesl, if we can increase the memberships within the collaboration vastly, we will add so much more benefit to everybody. Yeah. Firstly, to the customers out there, you can imagine if we have 500 fortunate companies on the collaboration, how much valuable information there will be for customers. And secondly, it also boils back to our partners, the businesses that collaborate with us. You can imagine if there is 500 companies within the collaboration, how much your business sure. is going to benefit from that. Wow. Thank you, Tilly. That's amazing. It's a pleasure, Lisa.